You know the saying, if it sounds like sh just add a shit load of distortion. Yum Audio's The Greater is all about that. This is one ugly plugin, both in how it looks and also in how it sounds, and I love that. The Greater is like a sound toys decapitator to the extreme, and gives me vibes like the Ohm Force Omicide, remember that one? The Greater adds over the top compression, saturation and distortion to your audio, and you dial it in with this big lever. There are a whole bunch of additional controls, and the first is sharpness. This affects the attack and release settings of the compressor. Lower settings give slower attack and release, and the higher settings faster ones, which is very hearable. The breakup control is like a broken tube, where each of the three modes and the dial introduce different amounts of breakup. Best is to play around with these settings to find something fitting. Input gain changes how loud audio goes into the compressor. Compensate the output of it with output gain. The pretonality section is rather important as well. This is an EQ which drives into the compression and seriously affects how all of the ugliness of this plugin sounds. We're still not done with this plugin and I'm still not done with you. And I hope you subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on the latest new cool audio plugins and hardware. Pre-tonality affects sound and Rezo Burst does as well. This module is a strong and resonant filter which adds oomph or resonance or body. All of that good stuff. Now if you think your audio still doesn't sound squashed enough, here's Slice Up which adds clipping to your audio. This one will turn any nice audio into a square sausage. So by now you've dialed in all this ugliness and you have regrets because, well, where are your dynamics? This module comes to your rescue. Reinject and tightness will return the dynamics of your original audio and you decide how much you want back. I think that is a smart and nifty feature. Now here is Muffle which does low pass filtering. You can use it to reduce some aggressive highs, but I find it most useful together with the overall dry wet mix control. I find that the mix control works best with the great lever. So I find myself adjusting these two the most to get the dirtiness I want. And I can go from a very loud ugly sound to rather useful coloration of the original audio, which enhances the sound rather than mangle it.
Now there's also a master gain output control which I found to be turning a lot. And that's my only real gripe with this plugin. There's no automated output gain and this plugin changes its internal volume a lot all the time. The Yum audio of the Grado will very much add flavor to any track you use it on. And in my opinion works best on drums and medium to higher pitched instruments. The plugin in the video on screen will do distortion and saturation as well and worthwhile to check out.